So those are called hunters. Those are like your big boys that when they come down, you're like, Shh. yeah, yeah. They'll, yeah. This must be on easy mode. He's doing way too good. I like how they just waddle, yeah, waddle towards you. It's like, a, it's like the, the alien Oompa Loompa Stop force nuts. coming at you. Yeah, come on, bro. This looks like a gender reveal gone wrong. Is this gonna set California on fire? Well, hello there. My name is Gemma Nguyen. I'm a seven-time world champion in sport karate. I'm also an action actress and a stunt woman. Well, my name is Cameron Fath. I'm a former Army Ranger and not as cool as her because I don't have any championships underneath me. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at footage from Halo. We're gonna be going over the weapons, equipment, and vehicles that they use. And honestly, I'm kind of a nerd about this. Pew, 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 pew. So let's get into it. You ready? Let's get it. And here we go. Halo, let's go. Oh, baby. Dude, what are those like machine little Oompa Loompas? Yeah, so those are called grunts and they're like the peons of the covenant, but they will freak you peons? up. The peons? The peons. So they're just like the little, they'll send them in hordes, just like our numbers will kill them. Oh. But uh, yeah, they're the easiest ones to kill, but they also have like this tactic where they're double fist plasma grenades and just run at you. So like suicide bombs. <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, so like they're easy to kill, but if you get the wrong Long one, they'll freak you up. I just see little short things, and like in my mind, I'm always looking for different characters I can play. I'm like, oh, that yeah. thing's short, I can play that. I can fit in that costume. I um, like how this dude just like keeps switching out, like, he has hella equipment. Oh, yeah. Is that nice. realistic? You could be carrying all that stuff? You'd have your, uh, your primary, and then you'd have your secondary that you could switch back and forth to. But where is he keeping it? <laughs> yeah, dude. He doesn't have a holster, and that's a pretty, pretty small it's, uh, gun. Movie magic. Yeah, it's, it's okay. Oh yeah, everything is just the Mary Poppins purse of weapons. But yeah, Halo is super fun. This is like where you get into the most aggressive verbal battles online with an eight, with an eight year old, the eight year old just calling your mom a and you're like, you don't even know what that means, kid. Uh, how'd you know? How'd you know? <laughs> yeah, it's bad. But no, Halo's fun. Halo's good. So this is called a warthog. This the, looks like fun. I would be down for this. Oh no, part. this game's a blast. This, this is pretty much how I drive down the 101. Oh, you are. Yeah. yeah. I mean, during Corona, during <laughs> Corona, it was all empty, so you could like, go anywhere video! you want. Yeah. yeah, yeah. This thing, like, if you notice that the wheels will all turn, so it's like instead of just a regular car's wheels turning left and right, like all four will like kind of do like a centipede thing. Oh, what? And it's super cool. Is it hard to maneuver? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. As he slams into yeah, a wall. It's like the suspension's the most spongy thing in the world, so like you're constantly doing this thing, so the driver really needs to be switched on. Have you, can... you driven in vehicles like that? Yeah, so I think the closest one that I've driven to that resembles this, we call it the dot one, but it's a GMV 1.1. It runs off electricity and gasoline. Oh, so like if cool. you want it to be super quiet to creep up on people, you can. What was it like driving it? Yeah, when you like smash the gas, it just goes <laughs> It's not like <laughs> Like some Fast and Furious, but it's it's cool. Oh, okay. Spaceship. You ever been to space? <laughs> no, not yet. Just not yet. spaced out, but oh, not man. really the same. Like How that. heavy are these things? Well, usually our sniper rifles are either chambered in 7.62 or 300 Win Mag, so it depends on, I'm using it. I know, I'm like, yeah, are you I'm just sorry. making this up Bullets. as you go? You're like, yeah, purple, yeah. 34, yeah, pretty 60. Much. Yeah, so you have like 7.62 and you can, uh, <laughs> I'm gonna, say I'm gonna keep rolling with it. Those sniper rifles can weigh anywhere between like 15 and like 22 pounds. Just the gun. What? Yeah, they're heavy. Those are heavy some of bitches. Dude. Carry and you gotta that. hold that while aiming and like moving and... Well, the cool thing is when you're shooting sniper rifles, you're not really like running and gunning with them. <laughs> okay, yeah, that's so true. You'll, you'll be like static. Typically, you'll like be in a hide, so you'll have like a tripod set up or you'll be laying down with like the bipod legs and you're just sitting there. Just looking. Dude, I so, want that job. That's you want that chill. job? Yeah, that's a cool job. Come I like on. how they just waddle, <laughs> yeah, waddle grunts, towards you. It's like, a, it's like the, the alien Oompa Loompa <laughs> force Stop coming nuts. at you. Yeah, come on, bro. <laughs> oh, and those are called jackals. God, I'm so impressed with myself. And good job. In the gameplay, you mm -hmm. can zoom in. Like, is that a realistic thing that you can do with guns? Yeah, so that's all gonna be depend on the type of weapon system you're using. So in this game, every time he does that zoom in, it's he has the sniper rifle. On a real gun, I have a magnified optic on it, especially for a long range rifle. And like, I can twist this dial and it will like zoom in. And wow. so, I can, so I can see what I'm shooting at. Right on. 
Okay, what do we got going pew, pew, on pew, 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 pew. Bang, 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 loud bangs. Bang ring. Okay, so what he just threw right there is a plasma grenade. So that one actually sticks. If you throw like a frag, it can like bounce off stuff, but see how it's just like, huh? That's sticky icky, huh? That's sticky icky, bro. <laughs> He seems like there's like unlimited ammo. Yeah, okay, so you have an ammo counter in your top left screen. See where it says like 31. So he only has 31 rounds left. Uh-oh, this is not good. So those are called hunters. Those are like your big boys that when they come down, you're like, Shh. yeah, they'll uh -oh. yeah. This must be on easy mode. He's doing way too good. To go back to the ammo thing, uh -huh. does he just pick up ammo from you people can. he's... Yeah, so that's where knowing your rounds, because you can pick up weapons off those aliens, but typically you have man-made you know, yeah. guns. So one thing you can do in this game is you can actually swap with like the soldiers that are fighting with you. Pew, pew, pew! Yeah, so he's using a plasma pistol right now. Sick. So I'm assuming all the purple is the alien? So the purple ones, what's known as a needler in this game. So they shoot like, it's an alien weapon and they shoot like these spikes at you and if enough of those spikes stack, they will blow up and kill you. So oh. all the different type of munition is like pretty dependent on what weapon you're shooting. It's like there. hardcore acupuncture. So the ammo is pretty important to know what you're carrying because you can't just go and like put any bullet in your gun. That's why a lot of people think like, oh, guns are just like point and shoot and you, just, you can pick up anything and put it in there. And it's like, no, if you put in the wrong bullet in your gun and you try to shoot it, you can like blow it up and knock your hand off. Yeah. It's really important to know who's carrying what because you just basically, that's how you disseminate your equipment and you just reconsolidate, reorganize is what we say in the military. So that's why a lot of the military uses the same weapon systems and like you can basically cross. Mix and match. Mix and match. Yes. Yeah. Like, hey, you need some ammo? Here, take this. It works in your gun. Oh. Nice. Take them down. Yeah, so those are called banshees. Dude, like that yes. like continuous gunfire. What is oh it's from the Yeah, the so it's warthog. from the Yep, the Warthog. He's in the Warthog, it has a gun on it. Yeah, those Gatling guns are cool. Dude, that'd be fun to I know. Just drive through that. I'm pretty sure this is like one of the last levels too. But I could be totally wrong. Let me know in the comments how wrong I am. <laughs> Sound off. Sound off. Tell me how stupid uh. I am. Oh, it's the halo. They just broke the halo. Oh. So that's what the game is named after. It's like this giant outer space halo. This looks like a gender reveal gone wrong. Is this gonna set California on fire? <laughs> halo Reach. So Halo Reach is actually one of my favorite halos that came out. This is like what I religiously played. Is this like the latest? This isn't the latest one, but in my book, Halo 3 and Halo Reach are the top tops. Uh-oh, sword, run from the sword. Those swords will screw you. Really? Yeah, Usually like... it's the opposite. I always say uh, those who live by the sword get shot by those who don't. Oh. So this is the opposite. He has a Which gun, is... he's running away from a guy with a sword. Oh man, so actually <laughs> I would rather fight a guy with a gun than a guy with a sword. Really? Yeah, in my opinion, because anybody off the street can pick up like a knife or a machete and immediately know how to use it just by swinging it, but not a lot of people can pick up a gun and ex know exactly, because there's so much function, like you have to rack it, you have to make sure there's bullets in it. And it's, it takes about 15 feet to close with and mm. like really do some damage with the knife. And not to mention if your gun is holstered, you still have to go through that and be Yeah, I proficient. guess it depends on range. It does, because yeah. you can, if I'm sprinting at you from like 15 feet away with a knife, I have to draw my, that's like three seconds. Or I if it's me sprinting that like yeah. half an hour later. Yeah. <laughs> so I think this, that gun's called the BR. So it's like the battle rifle and that thing. Semi-automatic. I like semi-automatic way more than fully automatic. It's easier to control. In a real life scenario, you wouldn't be able to have all this ammo that he, there, right? Let's see when he reloads, cause see how it says the numbers on the back of his gun, how many rounds are in there? 32, okay. Are you good at math? I'm not. I'm not a math Asian. Oh, oh not one I'm of those. A, I'm a martial okay, arts so Asian. Okay, so he had about like 232 rounds. So if 30 rounds times seven is 210, yes, right? 210. So that's, that's a combat load in real life. Mm -hmm. So he had like 232 or 236 or whatever he had. So he has around like seven magazines that he mm -hmm. can reload. The only thing about video games is when you reload with like half a mag, it immediately makes it new. Well, in real life, you're like, well, if I just reloaded that, I just lost 10 rounds. Yeah. So typically you would take that mag, put it in the back of your stack, just so you're like, okay, I can go through all these fresh ones and then I'll go back to that 10 round. Gotcha. Yeah. You gotta play mental gymnastics. My brain's just like. <laughs> <laughs> That's such a far distance. Standing, yeah, especially like going back and forth. That's a hard shot to Dude. make. That's like, I'll call it 150, 175, which is not that bad, but that's why you always practice shooting positions. So like barricades and stuff. So he had like that wall right there. You can do what's known as a C-clamp on it. You're like always- Like positions like you're in? 
Yes. They're like around the head. Yeah, around the head, underneath the legs. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Turn the gun around, use a mirror. Like shooting positions is really important. It's one of the uh, fundamentals is your body position. Talking about body position, my dream is to just make a tripod on that gun out of things. So like if you have a sling, you can tighten it really tight. So that's a point of contact that's sucking it into you. Hand up here, sucking it into me. My shoulders pushing it back forward. So like now I just created a vice on my gun. And then oh. if I have like a barricade, I can do a C clamp and rest my hand against it and hold it with my hand. So now I have four points of contact on it. Wow. Yeah. Oh, dropping some knowledge bombs here, y'all. Yeah, take notes. Well, that is it for Halo. Yeah, I love Halo with a passion. If I can get myself a Warthog and a Spartan laser, I will be a happy man. Thank you for dropping all those knowledge bombs on us, dude. Thank you for letting me nerd out. I appreciate that it. That was awesome. High five. Rock on. If you guys like these videos, make sure to check out more on Gameology's YouTube and Facebook page. And if you want to follow me on Instagram, check out Cameron C. Fath or find me on my streetwear brand, Kick Out Apparel. I am also on Instagram at Gemasaur. All right. Look, 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 look tongue twister. Stay in school, kids. Cameron, oomph. Cameron, oomph, fat. <laughs> Space Ranger. No, Super they, sexy. Super sexy. <laughs> Been blown up way too many times, TBI. <laughs> <laughs>